warm welcome to everyone uh, who's assembled here. Uh, I would like to invite uh, Faya Zalam from Anshuman on the stage for the prayer. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa la akhbatu lil muttaqeen wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidil Mursaleen. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ala Muhammadin wa barik wa salim. Allahumma inna nasaluka sihhata wa salamata wal huda wal khair. Allahumma inna nasaluka al afu wa al afiyata wa al maafat. Allahumma inna nasaluka al khair wa na'udhu bika min al shar. Allahumma zidna wa la tanqusna. Wa akrimna wa la tuhinna. Wa a'tina wa la tahrimna. وَأَثِرْنَا وَلَا تُوثِرْ عَلَيْنَا رَبَّنَا لَا تُؤَاخِذْنَا إِنْ نَسِيْنَا أَوْ وَخْطَعْنَا رَبَّنَا وَلَا تَحْمِلْ عَلَيْنَا إِسْرًا كَمَا حَمَلْتَهُ وَلَا الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِنَا رَبَّنَا وَلَا تُحَمِّلْنَا مَا لَا تَوَاقَتَ لَنَا بِهِ وَعْفُ عَنَّا وَاغْفِرْ لَنَا وَارْحَمْنَا أَنْتَ مَوْلَانا فَانْصُرْنَا عَلَى الْقَوْمِ الْكَافِرِينَ ہے اللہ اس ہاسپٹل میں صحت و سلامتی عطا فرمائیے خیر و برکت عطا فرمائیے ان کے ہاتھوں میں شفا عطا فرمائیے ان کے مریضوں کو شفا عطا فرمائیے ہے اللہ اس میں کامیابی عطا فرمائیے ہر قسم کا خیر عطا فرمائیے ہر قسم کے شر سے محفوظ فرمائیے ہر محلک بیماری سے بھی شفا عطا فرمائیے اور ہمیں اسے محفوظ فرمائیے ہے اللہ یہ بیماری جو ساری دنیا میں پھیلی ہے اس سے بھی ہم سب کی حفاظت فرمائیے سارے انسانوں کی حفاظت فرمائیے اور اس بلا سے ہم سب کو محفوظ فرمائیے ہے اللہ پہلے جیسا محفوظ رکھے آنے والے دنوں میں بھی ہماری صحت کی حفاظت فرمائیے ہے اللہ صحت ایک بہت بڑی نعمت ہے اس کی قدر کرنے کی توفیق عطا فرمائے اے اللہ جو ہمیں کھلی ہوا میں سانس لینے کی توفیق عطا فرمائے اس پر ہم آپ کا جتنا بھی شکر ادا کریں اے اللہ اسے قبول فرمائے ربنا تقبل منا انکا انت السمیع العلیم و تب علینا انکا انت التواب الرحیم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين آمين برحمتك يا رحم الراحمين. I welcome you all to this wonderful event hosted by Oxymet Foundation. Since 2007, World Autism Awareness Day has been celebrated on the 2nd of April, during which we recognize the achievements and the accomplishments of people with autism. Since 2012, every year, the UN has given a theme for this celebration um, on the World Autism Awareness Day. So for this year, on 2021, the theme is Inclusion in the Workplace, Challenges and Opportunities in a Post-Pandemic World. So today we've gathered here to discuss and spread awareness about it. Present with us here today is the Chief of Oximet, Dr. Ayaz Akbar, the director of Oximet, Mrs. Saira Parveen, our chief guest, Ms. Vandana Agarwal, and our guests of honor, Mr. Hussein Iqbal Shah, um, Ms. Raghavi Sendal, and Dr. Mohammed. Now I would like to call upon Baby Nafreen, one of Anshuman's students, who is an orphan, here to present our chief guest, Ms. Vandana Agarwal, with a bouquet and a memento. Baby Nafreen will now give our guest Shankar Narayanan a bouquet and a memento. <laughs> Baby Nafreen will now uh, present our guest of honor, Mr. Hussein Iqbal Shah, a bouquet and a memento. <laughs> Baby Nafreen will now give our guest, Ms. Raghavi Santal.
Baby Nafreen will now give our guest of honor, Dr. Mohammed Abakayana Momento. <laughs> now I would like to heartily welcome Mrs. Sapna, who's been diagnosed with autism and is a participant of a popular singing reality show on Sun TV. Um, I request her to sing the welcome song. And uh, she is able to sing songs. Whatever song you are giving it to her, she sings. I think Maria can uh, just tell a little bit about Sapna. Sapna, as uh, ma'am was telling, she's a young girl, about 21 years old. And uh, she was detected to have autism at a very young age. And they were trying to seek a lot of help. And they came to India. And uh, they had to go back because the father decided that they will stay as a family, that he won't leave his daughter and the wife alone. And as a family, they have traveled so far. They had a lot of challenges. You'll be reading about a story. Uh, and as, uh, as we were saying, she's a super singer, sun singer, super fame. And she has won that award. And she, can, she has recorded more than 1,000 songs. And she has <laughs> got a place in the... Guinness Book of National Awards, and she's trying for the world Guinness record. Oh, so now we have a very exciting session. Uh, here we have the journeys and stories of our super parents. So firstly, I'd like to introduce you to Sapna's father. Sapna is an autistic child with special needs, and we would like her fa father to share their story with us. Hello, I'm Sondar Rajan. Manakkam, I'm Karpa Gavalli. My wife, we were living in Muscat. Sapna was born in Muscat. Till two years, she was absolutely normal. At the age of two, she was diagnosed with mild traces of autism. The doctors advised us to go to India for treatment as there was no support in Muscat. So we rushed to India. We went to several therapy centers. They, they assessed her and told the same thing. So we took a occupational therapy program for Sapna during our holidays for a month. They told us to do, along with that, skating, swimming, horse riding. This will all help Sapna to do cross-motor skills. So after completion of one month, they advised Sapna and my wife to stay in India for treatment. But as a family, we decided we wanted to live together. We took a homemade program. We all went back to Musket. But, but we bought a uh, therapy ball, trampoline, ladder, swing, everything. We put it up in our house in Musket. We did our own program in Muscat. At the age of three, she went to uh, kindergarten alone, but she found it difficult to manage. Then we went to the Indian school management. We took a special approval to allow shadow support for these children. So with great difficulty, they allowed. And Sapna, along with other children, were the first batch of students in Indian school Muscat to get shadow support. So my wife, as a shadow, went to school from KG1 till 8th standard. So I am telling in short, during these 8 years, it was, a, it was a very tough journey for my wife to go to the school in the morning and be with her, write everything what the teacher teaches, come back home, teach everything, by virtue of which she learned very well. But during this time, she used to show a lot of interest in music and dance. At the age of 10, we decided that we will uh, put her in music classes. But the teachers were reluctant to take as she was restless. Uh, finally, we found a good teacher named Kala teacher who took Sapna, started teaching Bharatanatyam, Karnatic classes, 
plus Veena. So she was learning schooling along with music in the evenings. So this was continuing till 8th standard. After 8th standard, the academic pressure was very high for my daughter as well as for my wife. So we decided as a family that let us not pursue music education still further and we allow Sapna to enjoy music as a career and to pursue music. So we discontinued the schooling and we found a good teacher in Musket, Mr. Ramesh Narayan, we, 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 whom we used to come home uh, regularly to teach Kanati classes. Ramesh Narayan being a very renowned teacher in Musket had a lot of students. Among his best students he used to do regular programs for karaoke as well as in a year he used to have a mega program inviting some legendary singers from India to sing along with these children. Being the first year, Sapna was lucky. SPB was the uh, legendary singer who was performing in our program. Sapna was given by the teacher a special opportunity to sing along with SPB. Then her musical journey continued. She started performing in uh, various programs uh, cultural programs, school programs, she won various prizes. She participated in many programs, cultural events and other social clubs like uh, Telugu Wing, Canada Wing, uh, all that. Plus, a teacher used to form another group called uh, Ilaya Nila. So she started performing with legendary singers like K.S. Chitra, Madhur Balakrishnan, Vijay Prakash, Ajay Warrior, Anuradha Sriram and finally Mano. In the year 2019, she also got selected for Sun's, Sun's Singer reality show and uh, she was adjudged Chalakuti of the season. She performed very well. And 2020, we decided to come back to India to pursue our music. Moment we came back, the lockdown started and we didn't want to keep our idol. We decided to form a WhatsApp group named Sapna 99.9 FM where we joined around uh, 150 group members. Based on the group members' request, Sapna will sing and record. And we used to uh, put the recordings from every day 7.30 till 8.30. From March 30th till July 31st, she sung close to 1085 songs where she, where she made a record in the Indian Book of Records for singing maximum number of songs in a WhatsApp group. Also, in September, she got an opportunity to perform in uh, yeah, Big FM, where she had an interview along with her songs. And also, she got a very special opportunity to perform in Aval, Aval, Aval Glitz YouTube channel, where she gave, performed along with her interview. But this FM program is continuing till today, from March 30th till March 30th of 2021. We have completed one year and she has sung 1,717 songs, which is a great achievement. I have briefly given you Sapna's journey from childhood till now. My wife will give more details how differently we have brought Sapna from that level to this level she will tell separately hello i would like to share how we brought up sapna since i'm doing this for the first time like i have just noted down the points i'm just going to read it out to you first we believed she's normal and we can work on her and we never showed a fear of future and anxiety on her we treated her as normal as possible and we never discussed about her condition in her presence or in a year short and never allowed anyone to do that either. We saw what's what, what was interesting for our child and our child was interested in watching TV, mostly songs and, and uh, she used to dance. But we were advised by the experts not to use electronics as it would become an obsession for her. So we disconnected receiver for a year and we never showed TV to her at all. But then we realized it's the thing which she can never avoid in her life. So started using it to our advantage. We started teaching from the advertisements shown on TV, the shopping centers in Chennai, and where to buy 
the things what the kind of behavior appropriate behavior and inappropriate behavior in a public place everything and uh, to the extent like uh, i started teaching her a mother tongue tamil through tv like she used to love the advertisements coming being played on the screen so we used to spell the words that way like if it is saravana so she used to we used to read it as sa ra va na that way she learned the languages very fast now she can read and write in tamil and uh, everything we made it playful and enjoyable for her we used to take her for long drive in the car where not much of distraction was there and we used to talk to her to improve her communication we always kept things casual never had any rigid timetable for learning if she wasn't interested to learn academics we would do something else she likes for a child everything is learning but i would say okay if you don't want to do this today no problem we will do it tomorrow always i spoke to her in a soft soothing voice if she was cranky my way of handling her was cuddling and whispering we never stopped her from exploring and experimenting things if things went wrong while doing so i wouldn't shout at her rather i would teach her how to set it right we always respected her feelings we used to appreciate even the smallest thing she did as though she has achieved something great in fact it was great for us this appreciation built her self confidence we gave our child the confidence that we are with her once you gain the confidence of your child that you are with her you can work wonders and they will do everything you ask them to do to wrap up i would say treat them normally love them unconditionally if the child takes longer time to learn a task be patient keep encouraging and be optimistic and uh, professionals are there to help us but it's our duty as parents to be with our child all the time we know them better and it is you who can help your child as parents you can make a difference you are the one closer to the child you know the child much better than anyone in the world so love them unconditionally treat them normally and support them to succeed in their endeavors whatever they like thank you work on your intuitions let your intuitions guide you all the best thank you so i'd like to take this opportunity to thank all our super parents out there and also thank them for sharing their experiences with us uh, so here present with us today we have mr shankar narayanan who is a deputy registrar at the national institute for empowerment of persons with multiple disabilities also known as nipmet uh he is the father of a child with autism so i request you to come here and share your stories with us what's this i should not be emotional here if i'm emotional sometime words may not come so dalmeeti please give me a strength to share my experience with you respect or learn doctors chief guest agarwal madam madhya bhargavi and all other my friends how to start this no please accept the reality all the parents here please accept the reality logon ko gham dekhega to mera gham bhul jate hain matlab if bhagwan ne aapke paas i mean bhagwan comes in front of you and you put your worries all they can put your worries you can exchange if he gives choice i am sure you will take your worries and go so nothing to fear nothing to worry i am from uh, southern end rameshwaram a vedic family my father is uh, a vedic veda teacher i studied veda around 6 uh, 7 years and uh, 
by by mistake or by chance i stood uh, i scored good marks in my uh, plus 2 or 10 something so i was uh, sent to madras for pursuing my higher studies then i got married to a beautiful lady my wife vishalakshi we are not related okay only belongs to same brahmin community that's all 1911 98 i got a son we i named seshadri raghav it's very nice it's milestone everything was excellent and the paranda onna thavadirathu ayendu nikkirathu pidichukirathu grip everything was normal extra speech i had a doubt enna paadu speech la than problem o inga mari doubt ena we are not full we are off knowledge everything wherever you go we the parents having off knowledge only because of our anxiety ena porakra ella gondelum collector porakradilla our prime minister prime minister or prime minister than okay president ore president than so namba gond president aano ah prime minister aano la irukka mudiyad so apdi paakumbodhu basically என் ஒய்ஃபுக்கு உள்ள ஆன்சைட்டி என்னென்னா என் நல்ல பையன் படிக்கணும் வைக்கணும்னு சொன்னால் ரெண்டு வருஷத்துலேயும் பேசலை இ டிட் நாட் ஸ்பீக் ஸோ வி கன்சல்ட் லாட் ஆஃப் டாக்டர்ஸ் ஹோமியோபதி அக்குபஞ்சர் எல்லா எல்லா ட்ரீட்மெண்ட்டும் போய் பார்த்தோம் பார்த்துட்டு கடைசியில் ஒரு ஹோமியோபதி டாக்டர் டோல்டு மீ தட் ஈஸ் அ ஆர்டிஸ்டிக் பாய் as a proud parent what i heard you know artistic boy he is very artistic boy <laughs> i did not know what is artist okay then i went that time itself google started i what is artistic boy then uh, they, the google whatever you know, many things will be there it's very difficult to comprehend it will dive divert you in different direction also is misguided sometime okay then then i come to know it is autism then what is pdd they are telling development delay they are telling adhd what are how many terms are there because of my son i learn lot of things okay then schooling ஸ்கூலிங் போனால் ஒரு நல்ல ஃபஸ்ட் கிளாஸ் ஸ்கூல் இன் நவி ஐ வாஸ் இன் மும்பை ஃபார் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் இயர்ஸ் ஐ வாஸ் அசோசியேட் வித் அட்டாமிக் எனர்ஜி ஃபென்டாஸ்டிக் ஸ்கூல் ஃபாதர் ரெக்னல் ஸ்கூல் அட்மிஷன் கொடுத்தாங்க அது ரோட்ரிக்ஸ் இஸ் மை க்ளோஸ் ஃப்ரெண்ட் அந்த மேன் அட்மிஷன்லாம் கொடுத்தாச்சு கொடுத்தாச்சுன்னா அவன் பையன் பேச மாட்டேங்கிறான் ஆண்டா சார் பேச மாட்டேன் நான் என்ன சார் பண்ணுறது இல்லை ஒன்று வீ கேன் நாட் ஹெல்ப் அப்போ இன்க்ளூசிவ்லாம் வந்து அந்த அளவுக்கு பேசப்படலை இன்க்ளூசிவ் எஜுகேஷன் அதெல்லாம் நத்திங் வாஸ் டேர் இன் பாம்பே ஐம் டெல்லிங் யூ நாட் மெட்ராஸ் இட்ஸ் ஃபைனஸ்ட் சிட்டி ஐ எம் டெல்லிங் யூ தேர் இட் வாஸ் நைன்டீன் நைன் டூ தௌசண்ட் தேவ் நெவர் டாக்ட் அபவுட் இன்க்ளூசிவ் எஜுகேஷன் ஓகே தென் போயாச்சு தென் அங்கேருந்து அனுப்பிச்சிட்டாங்க ஃபாதர் அக்னம் பையன் வந்து கண் ஐ டு ஐ காண்டாக்ட் கூட இல்லை என்ன பண்ணுறது ஸோ அங்கேருந்து மாண்டிசரி ஸ்கூலுக்கு போனோம் அங்கே போனால் அந்த பையன் மற்றவங்களோட பியர் குரூப்பில் ஈ இஸ் நாட் மிங்லிங் வித் ஹேப்பன் ஸ்பெஷல் ஸ்கூல் போகலாம் ஸ்பெஷல் ஸ்கூல்னால் அது ஒரு பெரிய இது ஒரு ஸ்பெஷல் ஸ்கூலில் ஒரு மாதிரி சொல்லி கொடுப்பாங்க இன்னொரு ஸ்பெஷல் ஸ்கூலில் சொல்லுவாங்க அவங்க வந்து காக்னிட்டிவ் சரியில்லைப்பா இவனுக்கு மோட்டர் ஃபங்க்ஷன் சரியில்லை அது இது நம்மளுக்கு ஒன்றுமே தெரியாது அஸ் அ பேரண்ட் வி ஆர் இன்னோசென்ட் வி டோன்ட் நோ எனி திங் அவன் ஃபைன் மோட்டர்னால் அன்னிப்போ தான் தெரியும் ஃபைன் மோட்டர் ஃபங்க்ஷன்னால் என்னன்னு தெரியும் அது வரைக்கும் ஃபைன் மோட்டர் டு பி ஃப்ரேங்க
I did not know what is fine motor function. Again, I give uh, sincere thanks to my son to learn a lot of things because he is ASD. <laughs> then, he is non normal going. An academic pursuit on the poetry. So here I want to share one thing. I request all of you. There is three types. One is mild, another is moderate, another is severe. Okay? Accept the reality. Severe is severe only. You have to live with that. You have to live with that. The, for example, first video they showed, his father brought to India, then went back, is a family. If you live with family, my wife is, is got operated some uh, um, brain surgery. My wife still, she is telling, tomorrow, today when I leaving from my home, she was telling, why not to take some biryani to my son and give, he is in the hostel. My, my wife is still thinking about Sheshu should be with us because I have undergone bypass. My wife uh, recently, uh, she undergone neurosurgery. So at this stage, it's very difficult to keep my son with me. Try to understand. He's a severe non-verbal autistic boy. Please accept the reality. This is the reality. We have to run. Run the show. Okay? So, this is my story. Another, another, it's not advice, this is a request to all of parents and uh, who were uh, concerned. We cannot blame anybody. People will think that last Janma I would have done some sin. That is why there is no vouch for that. It's only belief. Today is permanent. Tomorrow also we don't know. Next minute we may not know. So in, at this situation, I believe, I strongly believe that we have to learn to live in the present. This evening, this moment, if I make any one of you to happy, that is sufficient. Why not we think? Live in present. Another piece of, don't take his advice, this is a suggestion. You have to learn from past. Something happened in the past that we should not repeat. At least. One, one, I can share, I don't know. Some uh, people think that they are intelligent, they are come, came and asked me, why not to go for second child? Why you have done a mistake? You have to take second child. I told him only one justification. Many people may not agree, but it is true. What is that? When I got married, we both, my wife and myself, had a confidence that we, have, we will have a normal child. Now, we have one autistic boy. Please tell me whether I can go for second child. My confidence level will increase or decrease? A kind of responsibility also towards society. I had to grow my uh, child. Okay? And at this, uh, see in Bombay city, like no, logistic will be a big issue. So occupational therapy will be sitting in some eight, nine kilometers to go to that. Now at this level I can afford for taxi or something. In 2000, I was in a position I cannot afford a taxi. I had to go by pub public transport. It's not easy in a uh, city like Mumbai. So these are all things is there. I don't have any intention to discourage you. I am here to suggest, not even advise. I am not here to advise also. Okay? So, the thing, I, I hope my story is not, uh, I am very smiling face. You know why? I don't have any anxiety. Another piece of suggest suggestion I am giving you, please, please expect little. That is the only thing you can do. You don't expect too much. 
second thing is is very much i mean is rich i am not rich that also comparison also will give you lot of i request if you want to sleep well tonight from tonight i mean onwards you want to sleep no expect a little don't expect too much suppose somebody is coming okay you will do wonder aisa koi nahi hai you may do damages also you must be ready for everything okay then i will come to my uh, my profession i'm telling you there is a central government state government okay we are i belongs to a national institute that national institute this particular national institute this particular national institute responsible for four major disabilities one is cerebral palsy another is deaf blind third is autism spectrum disorder fourth is multiple disabilities this is the asia's biggest institute in asia right we are not only dealing uh, any, anybody can any people with disability can approach us first there are lot of schemes are in india particularly um, central government and state government they are doing front especially i am telling you in india tamil nadu only is doing fantastic job towards people with disability i have come across i have gone oh, oh. Huh? yeah No, no. I'm telling. Uh, the reason I'm telling you, people like you and me only should work and initiate that, and no, 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 nobody else will do that. People like me should go and advise them. And central government, I mean state government, cannot do anything. If you have any grievances, please come. I will also come. We will meet the appropriate authority and do that. And and here we are not here to blame. I already told you, we are not here to uh, blame. we have to make it happen that that should be our motto otherwise we will be sitting sir that those government is not doing this government empty number of uh, uh, schemes are there empty number of uh, any 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 help please contact me any suppose any issue is there i never utter the word problem there is no problem in the world only issues are there those issues can be solved easily if you have a proper set up proper perspective proper approach definitely we can do wonders people are 90% people are very good towards people with disability only 10% of people are not happy with people with disability maybe some other story even after marriage one uh, autism boy or something you know he will will go so with that note i have very limited time i don't want to take too much of time i am talk to person so i'm uh, <coughs> so uh, luckily i'm not uh, so much emotional i could share something and i request you once again please in case of any any assistant regarding the benefits in a, even reservation even education treatment rehabilitation please approach me one thing second thing i am very very happy there is a gap between the medical field and rehabilitation field i request this two fields should be complementary i sincerely be believe once when one particular stage doctors will say go you can't do anything another stage this rehabilitation people will fight with doctor so that kind of uh, thing should not be done very very happy this medical foundations having this kind of approach definitely a kind of multidisciplinary approach and transdisciplinary approach will definitely fetch good result and uh, it will light in the life of people with disability thanks for opportunity i hope we'll meet again thank you thank you very much sir that was indeed a very um, enlightening for us because when we hear when we are there on the other side we don't get to know but when you are here this side we get to know a lot thank you sir now i would like to invite two great moms both of them having a child with autism i would like to invite anandi anandi's son's name is um, rishikesh
என் பேர் ஆனந்தி நான் வெள்ளிவாகத்தில் இருந்து வரேன் எனக்கு ரெண்டு பெண் குழந்தைங்க இருக்காங்க இவன் வந்து எங்கள் மச்சின குழந்த இவன் இந்த மாதிரி இருக்கான்றதுனால மூணு வயசுலேயும் அவங்க ரெண்டு பேருமே விட்டுட்டு அவங்கவுங்க லைஃப்பை பார்த்துட்டு போயிட்டாங்க எங்கள் சொந்தக்காரங்க யாருமே ஒன்று எடுத்துக்கல அதனால் நான் எங்கள் பசங்கக்கிட்ட எங்கள் குழந்தைங்களாம் இப்போ சின்ன பசங்களாக இருந்தாங்க அதனால் நான் எடுத்துக்கிட்டேன் இவனை இவனை எடுத்துக்கிட்டு இன்றைக்கி இவனுக்கு பன்னெண்டு வயசாகுது இவனால் எனக்கு நிறைய பிரச்சனைங்க எங்கள் குடும்பத்தில் வந்தது எங்கள் வீட்லேயே எங்கள் அம்மா வீட்லேயே என்னை யாருமே வந்து எதுக்கு இந்த பையனை நீ வளர்க்குற இவனால் உனக்கு என்ன பிரோஜனம் இவன் வளர்த்து உனக்கு என்ன செய்ய போகிறான் அப்படின்ட்டு என்னை தினம் தினமும் சொல்லிகிட்டே இருப்பாங்க நான் எங்கேயும் ஃபங்க்ஷனுக்கு கூட எங்கேயுமே போக முடியாது வீட்டு எங்கள் வீட்டு ஃபங்க்ஷனுக்கெலாம் போனாலே என்னை வந்து வந்து இது இந்த பிரச்சனையை பற்றியே பேசுவாங்க எங்கள் பசங்கக்கிட்டேயும் அவங்க இங்கே ரெண்டு பொண்ணுங்க இருக்காங்க அவளுங்கக்கிட்டேயும் எல்லாருமே வந்து இந்த பையனை எதுக்கு உங்கள் அம்மா வளர்க்குறாங்க இவனால் என்ன இருக்குது ப்ரோஜனம் அமுச்சு விட சொல்லு உங்கள் அம்மா வேங்கனா ஹாஸ்டலில் சேர்த்துட சொல் அப்படின்ட்டு எங்கள் பசங்கக்கிட்ட நான் தினம் தினமும் உட்காந்திம்மா தப்பு மாதெல்லாம் அவங்க சொல்கிறதுல நீங்கள் கேட்கக்கூடாது இவனை நம்ம வளர்த்தோம்னா நீங்கள் நல்லா இருப்பீங்க சந்தியா தீபா அதெல்லாம் தப்பு இது கடவுள் குழந்த இது அவங்க சொல்கிறதுல நீங்கள் கேட்காதீங்க நான் அதெல்லாம் விட்டுருங்கம்மா இவன் நம்ம தம்பி நான் நான் அம்மா கிட்டே போ அம்மாவுக்கு பிறந்தான்னு நினச்சிக்கோங்கம்மா நீங்கள் அப்படின்னு நினச்சிட்டு அவனை நம்ம வளர்க்கலாம்மா அவனுக்கு கடவுள் நம்மளுக்கு கொடுத்த பெரிய கிஃப்ட்டுமா இவன் அதனால் அந்த மாதிரிலாம் செய்யக்கூடாதுமா அப்படின்ட்டு இப்போ ஸ்கூலில் சேர்த்துருக்கேன் ஏன்னா நான் வேலைக்கு போகிறேன் நான் பெருக்கிற வேலை செய்கிறேன் பாலவிகர் ஸ்கூலில் அதனால் பார்த்துக்க யாருமே இல்லைன்றதுனால இப்போ தான் ஒரு ரெண்டு மாதமாக ஸ்கூலில் அவனை சேர்த்துருக்கேன் இதை என்னால் முடிஞ்ச வரைக்கும் அவனை ஃபீஸ் கட்டி படிக்க வச்சிட்ருக்கேன் என்ன இந்த வாய்ப்பு கொடுத்துக்கிறதுக்கு எனக்கு கொடான கொடி நன்றி நெக்ஸ்ட் ஐ குட் லைக் டு கால் திவ்யா கம் திவ்யா வாங்க உங்கள் பையனை இன்ட்ரடியூஸ் பண்ணிக்கோங்க வாங்க அண்ட் பை த பே ஷி இஸ் ஆல்சோ டன் அ ஸ்பெஷல் எஜுகேஷன் கோர்ஸ் ஃபார் த சேக் ஆஃப் அர் சன் அண்ட் ஷி இஸ் ஒர்க்கிங் அட் பாலவிஹார் எல்லாருக்கும் குட் ஈவினிங் டு ஆல் என் பேர் திவ்யா நான் முகப்பேர்லேருந்து வரேன் ஃபஸ்ட்டு இவன் குழந்த வந்து பிறந்தவொடனே ரொம்ப அழகாக இருந்தான் பார்க்குறதுக்கு ரொம்ப க்யூட்டாக இருப்பாங்க ரொம்ப திடீர்னு துரு துரு இந்த ஒரு வயசில் வந்து ஸ்பீச் வந்து லேசாக நிற்க ஆரம்பிச்சிருச்சு அதிகமாக அட்வர்டைஸ்மெண்ட் பார்ப்பான் படிக்கட்டு நூறு வாட்டி ஏறி இறங்குவான் சரி குழந்த ரொம்ப ஆக்டிவாக இருக்கான்னு நினச்சி நாங்கள் ரொம்ப சந்தோஷப்பட்டோம் சரின்னு சொல்லிட்டு அப்புறம் பார்த்தா இது ரொம்ப பார்த்துக்கவே முடியாத சூழ்நிலை ஆகிடுச்சு வீட்டில் எதனால் பிரச்சனை வர ஆரம்பிச்சு நீ அவனை கவனிக்கல இஷ்டத்துக்கு விடுற அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு இருந்தாங்க அதுக்கப்புறம் நாங்கள் என்ன பண்ணோம் சைல்டு ட்ரஸ்ட் ஹாஸ்பிட்டலுக்கு போனோம் அங்கே போயிட்டு ஒரு கன்சல்டிங் ஒரு டாக்டர் கிட்டே போனோம் அவர் ஜஸ்ட்டு அவனை ஒன்றுமே பார்க்கல சும்மா கூப்பிட்டார் பேர் சொல்லி உடனே ஆர்டிஸ்டிக் ப்ராப்ளம் சொல்லிட்டார் அந்த வார்த்தையே எனக்கு புரியல அதை பற்றி எனக்கு தெரிஞ்சதும் இல்லை என் ஃபேமிலியிலே அதெல்லாம் நான் என்னோடய வயசு வரைக்கும் நான் பார்த்தது கிடையாது அதுக்கப்புறம் சரின்னு சொல்லிட்டு என்ன பிரச்சனைன்னு சொல்லிட்டு நாங்கள் நிறைய ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் போனோம் இது ஒரு ஆர்டிசம் டிசார்டர் பெர்வாசிவ் டெவலப்மெண்டல் டிசார்டர்னு சொன்னாங்க எனக்கு ஒன்றுமே புரியல சரி இது என்ன இது ஒரு பிரச்சனை தான் போலுக்கு சும்மா மாத்திரம் வந்து குத்தா சரியாயிடும்னு நினச்சேன் ஆரம்பத்தில் ஆனால் இது ஒரு தீர்க்க முடியாத பிரச்சனைன்னு சொல்கிறாங்க ஆனால் இது தீர்க்க முடியும் நான் நினைக்கிறேன் ஏன்னா அது நம்ம கையில் தான் இருக்குதுன்னு நான் நினைக்கிறேன் அதுக்கப்புறம் நான் ரொம்ப மனசு கஷ்டமாகிடுச்சு வீட்லேயும் வந்து வெளியே போக மாட்டேன் ஒரு நம்மளுக்குள்ளே ஒரு மனநிலை பாதிக்கப்பட்ட மாதிரி ஆகிடுச்சு வெளியே போனால் பிரச்சனை எங்கே பார்த்தாலும் துருத்துருன்னு இருக்காங்க அவங்க பையன் அப்படின்னு சொல்கிறது வெளியே போ இப்போ யாருக்குன்னா ஒரு பார்க் கூட்டு போனால் அவன் எல்லோரும் ஒரு மாதிரியாக பார்க்குறது இப்போ நம்ம கிட்டேயே வந்து கேட்பாங்க ஏன் அவங்க பையன் மட்டும் இப்படி பண்ணுறான் அப்படின்னு கேட்பாங்க அப்படிலாம் ஒன்றும் இல்லைன்னு நான் தைரியமாக தான் இருப்பேன் எல்லா விஷயத்துலையுமே அதுக்கப்புறம் நானும் எங்கள் ஹஸ்பண்ட் நிறைய பார்க் கூட்டு போகிறது வெளியே கூட்டு போகிறது இந்த மாதிரி நிறைய பண்ணிகிட்டு இருந்தோம் அதுக்கப்புறம் எங்கள் ஹஸ்பண்ட் சொன்னார் நீ இந்த ஸ்பெஷல் எஜுகேஷன் படி அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு நான் ஸ்பெஷல் பிஎட் பண்ணேன் டூ இயர்ஸ் கோர்ஸ் பண்ணி இப்போ ஒரு செவன் இயர்ஸாக இந்த ஃபீல்டில் இருக்கேன் இப்போ வந்து இப்போ பாலவிகா ஸ்பெஷல் ஸ்கூல் தான் போயிட்டு இருக்காரு இப்போ குவாரண்டைனால் வீட்டில் இருக்கிறாரு தெரப்பிலாம் போயிட்டு தான் இருக்கிறாரு இருந்தாலும் தினமும் ஒரு பிரச்சனை தான் தினமும் ஒரு போராட்டமான வாழ்க்கை தான் இருந்தாலும் இதுவும் ஒரு வகையான சந்தோஷமாக தான் இருக்குது தேங்க்யூ நவ் ஐ இன்வைட் Jayanti Mani, who is a parent and a special educator. Her son is Arya. She's come with her husband, Mr. Anand.
my journey was like uh, myself and my husband and I have one more child who's uh, neurotypical. So we all had a very good uh, lifestyle in Dubai and uh, we had a normal, uh, so-called normal lifestyle. So he's the second child for me. So uh, I couldn't find any difference because all kids are active, all kids are delayed in speech because of too much exposure of TV and all those stuff. So I was a reluctant parent. Uh, when everybody said that he's not speaking two years, still you're not uh, knowing, he's very stubborn. Uh, I was not, because I have another child who's, he was also the same, he was stubborn and all those stuff, so I was arguing with him. So once when I put him in a school, uh, the principal called me and said that that day I will never forget. Uh, she was directly speaking to my husband only <laughs> because she knows that I will not accept. So she said, when I call him Maria, he's not turning back. And he's not going towards the children at all. He's all alone on himself, which I never knew, though he was five years old. When a third person is saying, you're not able to accept it. I'm an educated person. I have been in a very sophisticated lifestyle still. How can that principal say to me? But now, I thank that principal wholeheartedly. Early itself, she told me. She told me in a perfect way, which was rude, but still, she told me. Then I came back in, to India. That situation, I didn't know what to do. I came back with both my children here. Uh, though I am a Chennai Vasi, I have been here, but still, after marriage, I, I myself with my two children, I, we were alone because too many people say, too many advice every day. Don't ask me, like everybody, everybody likes me. That's the main reason. They likes me, that's why they come and see, and take, but they don't know what idea they're saying. So for me, my parents were there, my grandparents, lovely parents, but still, I was very stubborn. I said, I'll be living alone with my kids. My husband was completely supportive to me financially. So I could take him from, to be frank, he was five years. Almost all five days I used to go to OT. I used to go to any corner where there is special kids, I'll go. Uh, but I didn't know, I thought if I send him to a therapy, that miracle will happen, he will be normal. That is what I was thinking. Though I was an educated person, still, I was sitting outside and was praying, Somebody is ha something is happening inside, within two years I'll be back to my husband. That was my inclusion. Then slowly I was seeing all the parents rounding again, the small world. One therapy center, the other 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 therapy center, the Though the professionals know that this is a condition, it is not a disease, it will not be cured, but they will not say to you. They will just say, we will take care, that's all. So, though an educated person like me, nane onnu I'm just, I'm saying, evlo ali le ning evlo yoshi panir kinga na, applaud to you, I applaud to you. Because, is it, if it's going to be your, your son, if it's going to be a child, you, there is so much emotional imbalance with us. We are not able to accept it. We are not able to judge it. We are so confused. But and the confusion you if lo stronger and the render ladies panir kangana, I'm so happy. I made it today. I came here. Thank you to Maria Mam actually. <laughs> because uh inni kevan the autism, empire autistic child, Abdina Dairima Solra. Because we say special is something very good. Or special or restaurant pono abdina, special dosa kekono nenepo. Special address panikino nenepo. Anna unga child is special na matu utgue matu. Anna na solre, empire special under dale, na nariya katikte. I have learnt a lot which I have never learned through education through people. I have learned to accept everyone the way they are. I can accept any person, oh, even if they are okay. I'm a bit kind of a situation at Nala Pirka. So there are so many things which I can't say through words that he's teaching me every day. And uh, I'm so blessed that I've got him. So Adanala, whenever I see younger parents, I just I just want to show off that I can dress up myself. That's again Maria Mam's uh, inspiration because when I went for a special education, I wanted to know. Chuma vali lo kaan thete matte parents mari ulla therapist panvanga. Ella seriya pedo. Abdi nukar mudle naala. I want to teach parents. Ninglu pannu therapist panvanga. But you should also follow up and do it. Apda unga kaan thete apni ungul kiteriyo. 
தெரப்பிஸ்ட் கிட்ட அழகாக அந்த பீடை கொத்துருவான் என்கிட்ட கொண்டு தான் தூக்கி அப்படி பறக்கும் எல்லாம் என்னடா நடக்குது எவ்வளோ வருஷம் நம்ம இப்படியே இருப்போம் அப்படின்னு ஐ வாஸ் திங்கிங் பட் சூன் ஐ வென் டு அ ஸ்பெஷல் எஜுகேஷன் கோர்ஸ் தட் டு இட் வாஸ் ஜஸ்ட் ஒன் சண்டே விச் ஐ டோன்ட் நோ வேர் ஐ லீவ் மை சைல்ட் he was with my uh, driver who was who's taking him to swimming pool and all those stuff occupying the whole day is precious to me because my child is with somebody else but still i need to learn it is not for me only i want to learn and say to other parents matha parents ku namu kaamche aano namnala nichchama inda kolandengala vechi successfully vaal mudiyum sandoshama vaal mudiyum ellara poliyum vaal mudiyum gerudhu enakku na kaamikkanum gerudhukku mariya ma was the inspiration because first day when i saw her and priya i said no i will be like mariya one day <laughs> i was like because she'll dress up so very well ella parents patha or sogamave irupanga ipa paaru they'll be saying enna panna porom madam artha masam varsham avanukku paisa aichi adutha birthday vanduchu na enna panna porom per saitan ஒரு பர்த்டேவை கூட சந்தோஷமாக அவங்களால கொண்டு முட முடியாது ஏன்னா நெக்ஸ்ட் இயர் எப்படி இருப்பானோ அப்படின்னு ஒரு பயம் இருக்கும் பட் ஷில் கம் இன் அண்ட் ஆட்டோ வித் ஃபுல்லி ட்ரெஸ் வித் ஆல் ஸ்மைல்ஸ் நான் பார்த்த நினச்சேன் மரியா மேம் மாதிரி தான் இருக்கணும் நம்ம அப்போ ஐ ஷுட் பீ நியர் ஹர் மோர் டு சி ஹவு ஷி சர்வைவ்ஸ் ஹர் லைஃப் ஸோ ட்ரூ இன்ஸ்பிரேஷன் இஸ் ஹர் அண்ட் ஃப்ரம் ஹர் ஓன்லி ஐ ஹவ் ஸ்போக்கன் டு மெனி பீப்புள் நவ் ஐ ஆம் பேரண்ட் கவுன்சிலர் ஐ ஹவ் டன் மை எம்எஸ்சி சைக்காலஜி I have done my special with Maria Ma'am's guidance. So wherever I go, I see all my kids are my kids. All the parents are my sisters. So whatever I could do for them, I am there. When I am there in one area, I have put a WhatsApp group. Wherever I go, wherever I see moms, I just put them in my whatever you want. I will just direct the professionals because without professionals, you can't survive. Professionals has to be there. So thank you for this opportunity. I am really happy to be here. uh autism is a wonderful feeling only if you accept it accept pannala abadina 20 vayasla kuda nariya parents innum accept panna matranga accept pannunga kolandenga super ah varanga nichchama avanga independent life panna mudiyum if you accept them thank you for the opportunity thank you uh, so now i take pride in welcoming the chief of oximed dr raya zakbar I humbly request you to address the gathering and share a few words about uh, autism at Oxymed. Distinguish our chief guest Vandana Agrawal, director of VVA and VVT group of companies which owns the Radisson group of hotels. Our of guest guest of honor Mr. Hussain Iqbal Shah, Mr. Shankar Narayan, Dr. Muhammad, neurosurgeon, former HOD of uh, king abdul aziz saudi arabia now he is a director of uh, oximed hospital neurological department and ms k raghavi senthil kumar dr maria fatima and our medical director dr ramanathan muthaya and mrs e saira parvin director of oximed hospitals research institute and foundation indeed it's a great joy for me to join in this world autism day awareness program which is held on 2nd of april throughout the world i'm highly pleased for the dignitaries for having accepted the invitation and come over here all the way to give an encouragement and support to the parents and then the suffering children thank you ma'am thank you well all are learned with several experiences about autism i don't want to dwell upon on that subject as i am being the preventive cardiologist but what oximed is contribution in the field of autism see basically you all have heard the most common therapies on the table is ot bt st and pt that is occupational therapy behavior therapy speech therapy and physiotherapy of course along with this diet also plays an important uh, role because certain food children are intolerant to certain types of food they have to work closely with a uh, dietitians and then they cannot be having anxiety they have to give it a pretty long period which food is working which food is not working this is also plays an important role 
But we, I don't like to take much of time because my wife said, as, uh, if I have to finish in, within five minutes. I'll make it, make it a point to f finish in four and a half minutes. We at Oxymed, we are associated with ACAM, American College of Advanced Medicine, where in US, they are using a protocol called chelating agents. This autistic children, some of them, they are with metal and metal toxicity. There is a component called EDTA, ethanol diamond tetraacetic acid. Along with this conventional therapy, IV intravenous we give, where the metal toxicity is being eliminated. Now to make it simple, earlier days we were all using uh, lead pipes. It used to corrode. Mm -hmm. And as we are all have evolved, we, used to, we have all transformed to PVC pipes. Likewise, when the blood circulation is good, uh, basically a lot of oxygenation and a good de development. Apart from that, there is also called hyperbaric oxygen therapy. For a pretty long time, our country did not know about this. In US, it's quite popular. When I say, what is hyperbaric oxygen? It's a huge chamber. It's a pressurized air. It's like a submarine. We all are living in an atmosphere, atmospheric pressure of 1 ATA with 21% of oxygen. So today, if you see in any field, any type of diseases, first, blindfold, the moment we give is 100% oxygen as support. Because without food, without air, without, without food, without water, without medicine, you can live for some time. But without proper oxygen, you cannot survive more than three minutes. You would have come across, there are certain children who are 13 years, 14 years, but still they'll be behaving something like three years, they say, underdeveloped brain. It, we call it hypoxic condition. So the blood does not reach to the brain. So the hyperbaric oxygen, our country has tried. There are two types of uh, chambers. One is a mono place, which is inexpensive. It can be used at home, but autistic children cannot go. It's a mono place. They require a support, their parents, somebody. So unfortunately, it is so expensive, such a big, big chamber. It's like a big aircraft. Only few chambers are available in India. In North, about one or two. And in Bombay, I know in Godrej Memorial Trust, they have a chamber, similar chamber. It's the only one chamber. We at Oximate Hospital Research Foundation, we have this. And to maintain that, every part has to come from US. In 2014, we spent about almost about 14 crores to bring this te technology. And we are making it as much possible as economical for the deserving people to take this treatment. To our surprise, most of our patients have come from US, from uh, Australia, from UK, because it's very expensive. These NRI people, they used to come during the, uh, especially during the uh, Christmas times and have benefited. So our director, Saira Parveen, she's a social worker. She has floated an institution called Anchor, where they give free loans here at Oximed. She has made as a charitable foundation where she collects funds and those who cannot afford, even we come across sometimes the expensive uh, uh, ICU me me medicines. So from there she contributes and then we are able, because it is very difficult for any suffering patient to say, go to the government hospital. They chose you because they wanted the best. And we are trying our best as much as possible to give our support. And we are all the time, we are learning, we are associated with the various uh, bodies in U US and we hope we'll continue to learn and serve our best to the society. Thank you for your patience listening. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing your knowledgeable words with us. Uh, it is my pleasure to introduce our guest of honor, Mr. Hussein Iqbal Shah, who is the Assistant Secretary and Co-Chairman at Darul Ansar Center for Applied Learning. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And let me greet all of you. With, I have greeted with the Islamic greetings. And now, a very good evening to one and all assembled here. And I really appreciate the parents who have come forward. In fact, these kind of parents are very much needed 
is the need of the hour to get rid of, I won't say to get rid of, but to make other parents understand their responsibility. Well, I'm also a social worker along with uh, Saira Parveen, who is the director of this hospital. Now, for a very long time, for over almost <laughs> two decades. So, in Anjuman, let me first say, though today is the autism day, it is always unique, totally, sometimes mysterious, is autism. Okay. Now, I, I've, I came with a lot of papers that I will speak on this thing, but after hearing each parent and everything, I'm just going to put this aside. And I'm going to tell you the kind of... We, both of us come from a charitable institution, which is 135 years old, uh, which has orphan children, both boys and girls, from different... I mean the lowest ebb of the society, of the Muslim society. We have only Muslim children. As days had come, we, have got, we, we wanted to excel in education. So, we started a school way back in 1998 in the Anjuman campus, known as the Anjuman Matriculation and Higher Secondary School. That grew up and things like that. And as this school grew up and we started taking children from outside of various other religions and irrespective of caste, creed, religion, everything. Then we, came, we saw some behaviors of the children in the hostel. At that time, the founder, chairman of this Darul Ansar Center for Applied Learning, which is a part of Anjuman Ayamata Islam unit, we found that a lot of parents, I mean, a lot of children were misbehavioral issues and everything. And it became a really issue in the campus that these children were not being the thing. The easiest way out was, used to say, send them away home. Little did we realize that we are going to send this child out into this world. Here we are. When he's, uh, till his teens, everything, we have looked after him with all facilities, kept him inside, all that, everything we have done. And one fine day, because the teacher says, the warden says, no, he's no good, he has to leave the, the other children are getting affected. That is the time that one of the, uh, one of the student of the same very Anjuman, who was sent out of the school and came back, and said, no, I want to meet, uh, the, the person I'm referring is the chairman of Dakar, Dr. Salahuddin. He came up to him, fortunately I was also there. This boy comes up and tells, thank you sir for having sent me out of the school. It was a shock. Really shocked that you have sent me out of the school. Why, what happened? I mean, he could not what was this thing. Then we called out for papers and everything found out. Having sent me out, somebody else saw my deficiency in my education and they gave, they imparted education for me and then in, I have come to this level and he works for the Merchant Navy now, that boy. And he handed over a check to the very same Dr. Salahuddin. Okay, that is one incident. Now coming back this incident, after this incident, he was very much disturbed and he said, no, we have to do something. No child is going to leave this campus without education. And that is the rule even today in Anjuman. No child will be sent, sent out because as these children come from a very low background and if he is going to go, I do not want to mention, I have had one fellow and it's very unfortunate that boy is still serving. Uh, he's an, in the prison for the last, he's been made for 14 years. I'm, we are try, I'm trying out all my best to see that he's been sent at least by this Independence Day. That is how I'm working separately on that child. Okay, a child with no this thing, just sent out and things like that and become like that. Though I have trained that boy in ITI and everything, 
wrong company and things like that. So education at the, pri at the initial level is very, very important. And a, and a community which we, I come from, we come, rather all of us here, most of us, is a community which has been really tainted with all sorts of things. Okay, worldwide, not, not lonely. I've traveled around the uh, place on official work and personal this thing also. So that we wanted to eradicate. That's how we started this unit called Darul Ansar Center for Applied Learning. And when we started, we started with 20 children of the same hostel, both boys and girls. And out of this 20 boys, I told they were with dys certain dyslexics. We were able to overcome that and everything. Today, some of them are graduates. Some of them are working in various fields. And in fact, one boy is also an engineer. That is apart from. But later on, we felt that this has to grow. And when we found, because we have a system in Anjuman that when we take students, it is not the word of mouth by anybody. We go personally, each member of us. And in that topper is Mrs. Saira Parveen. OK. <laughs> she will travel up to Andhra Pradesh and come back. OK. Yeah? So that is how we see the standards, I mean, how their, their living style and everything, and bring those children to our home. I like to share a boy who's today working in ESI hospital as a doctor. One girl is in Gujarat who is a doctor. All these children who have come as orphans or destitute from families or poor families, so that is what we do here. I mean, in Anjuman has, does this. That apart, after starting this Darul Ansar Center for Applied Learning, we have the state of the art, this thing. We have all facilities like an OT, speech. We have a speech lab. I, I, please don't mis misunderstand me. My daughter-in-law is a speech therapist and a audiologist, now finished her PhD in Australia, stuck there, waiting to come back. Likewise, my daughter is a food scientist. So as doctor rightly said, on food habits. So I have told her she's working on that. She's also a PhD in food science. So I have, she, he started, she's working on that, what we can do, especially for autism children. And children are totally affected by, as rightly said by Mr. Uh, Sir, from, Director from uh, uh, NIMPMAT, that is mild, mild, and severe. Okay, so these severe children require a real kind of a diet for them to keep them healthy. And I have personally myself seen in various places, I, I have visited the UK, United States, Germany, and all these places, except for UK, they have the data collected for autism. There are about 700,000 both children, adults, both boys and girls. And the ratio, I, I, you all must be known, it is one is to four, and prevalently more in the boys than the girls. The carrier, they say it's girl, but then the research is on on this subject. So I, I am no uh, authority to speak on that subject, on medical this thing. So these are all the things which we at Anjuman, at, we have now started a sort of a small clinical this thing to cater to parents like this who are not able, see, that child is not be able to go to a, a, this thing center to do OT or anything. We have started a center which will be between four and seven o'clock. We run this as a, we don't call it as a school, we call it a center. We are running it as a school, like the school timings, like between nine o'clock and four and three o'clock. So the children do not feel that they are not going, see when they see their peers going to school and coming back, instead of going to some center for one hour, two hours and coming back, we have a full-fledged school. I invite all of you to come and see the facility. And being a charitable organization, we will stand by you. That's my word to all of you. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you very much. Anyway, all these papers today have come with this of waste from. Thank you one and all, especially the special mothers.
Uh, our next guest of honor, Ms. Raghavi Senthil Kumar, is a social entrepreneur, a HR consultant, a trainee, public motivational speaker, and most importantly, a warrior mom of two kids. Uh, she has won more than 25 prestigious awards from her employment and entrepreneur forte. Uh, she is also the director of the Headway Academy and the founder of the Headway Foundation. A very good evening, one and all. Never in my life I thought I'll hold a mic in a hospital like this because I was all on the, you know, inside the rooms, on the beds and all that most of the time. <laughs> I started hating hospitals at one point in time. <laughs> so <laughs> I never thought I would do this. <laughs> I think I'll have to wholeheartedly thank Dr. Maria for this. And uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am, for having me here uh, on this beautiful occasion. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll come to the, you know, the word called autism. We've been talking about the autism, autism day and all that. Uh, with, with, with my kutti story, if, if we have some time, I am a polio victim, got acquired by this polio virus, poliomyelitis at uh, my three months uh, of age. I was born in Hyderabad and um, my, my, my native is here in Kelambakam. That is my native. That is uh, IT hub today. It was a typical rural village at one point in time. Yeah. So, uh, lack of awareness. We talk about awareness. We talk about coronavirus today. Every kid and kin and every kid is talking about coronavirus. They write essays today, but at that point in that time, we don't know what is polio virus at all. Huh? So, what do we do? A girl child. Uh, acquired polio and and uh, my parents were at a shock of course the surrounding how do they see the you know girl baby and all that you can you can really imagine my mother was um, you know very very confident that uh, she'll have to raise I mean I think that's the motherly thing I could see so much you know, you know it is not about you know father is not doing good mother is doing well nothing doing father is equally, you know, they're also special fathers. Fathers are all also equally confident and massive by heart, but they don't express. That is the only thing. Mothers take the first step. That's all. And I could see so many special mothers here, including Dr. Maria. And my mother was strong enough that she, she said, I'll raise this girl. She did. And uh, she joined the same school where she put in, uh, you know, as a Hindi teacher, because Hindi was very much wanted here. And uh, she, she was MA Hindi. And um, she was there till my 12th standard of my schooling. She was all there. Any emergency, she was there. And I did my schooling because my parents, my father had only one thing. Education is the only weapon that can take, uh, you know, any child, not just me you know, uh, to greater heights. So on that note, I finished my uh, schooling. And, uh, you know, to make my journey a little precise, uh, with a lot of, you know, here and there, uh, um, you know, struggles and challenges, of course, uh, exclusion, yeah, we're talking, I mean, Dr. Maria wanted to talk me, talk, uh, talk, to, uh, talk to you about inclusion. So inclusion came up uh, you know, to the society only only after we had a lot of exclusions here and there, yeah. So with a lot of such struggles and challenges and all that, I had my engineering. Uh, you know, we were all talking, all people giving us feedbacks and there will always be four people who keep on giving us feedbacks, yeah. Oh, how can you do this? How can you do that and all that? But because engineering was a little, you know, too much for me, late and workshop and all that. So. People were thinking, how can I do that? Because I was, I was wearing my calipers and crutches and all that. And I did my engineering. I did my MBA. I did I, my diploma in training and development. I'm about to pursue my doctorate now. So education was another uh, thing that, you know, um, we thought it, it, it could take us, um, you know, to heights. And I, I request everybody here to, to have that uh, you know, in education, and we talk about inclusive education now. Yes, inclusive education. Let us not talk about inclusive education. Education is education, right? Why is it inclusive and exclusive? So education, I think that is one thing that we all will have to 
you know, uh, uh, make it equal. And um, employment, that's another phase. How many organizations, how many uh, you know, industries are really looking forward to have differently able people on board? I could see Priya's ways here. This is employment, this is entrepreneurship, this is inclusion. Oxymed has included a, a consultant doing all this, right? So let us all inculcate the habit of entrepreneurship equally, equally, because all these mementos, gifts, and so many things we all do, and there are talented persons with disabilities who are still, still doing, we're talking about fine motor skills and all that. How many people are really, uh, you know, um, uh, creative enough to bring a lot of products to this market? We don't know. They are hidden. So let us start give equal opportunity to people, and that is inclusion. Number three, uh, again, uh, you know, uh, let us talk about the how the society takes us. That is another that that is the another step that we really look forward. Uh, you know, I used to uh, you know uh, refrain talking to people, going for functions, uh, no proper ramps, no lifts. There are a lot of uh, you know logistical barriers and challenges in the society. Disability varies from person to person. We all know there are 21 types of disabilities. Autism is one, you know, locomotive disability is one, and all that. It varies from person to person and case to case. But challenge is one, struggle is one. Let us all be empathetic to challenge. That is what we want. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I got married to my childhood friend. I have two of my boys here who have come today also. And today, I want them to look at what the society is at, yeah? And say, oh, come on, let us be equal. Let us all be, you know, together. Because love is the only one thing that keeps us all going. And that is the reason I brought them today to, to see this function. Huh? And um, lastly, um, I am an HR consultant, I'm a trainer, I'm a mentor, I'm a coach, I speak in a lot of forums, I'm a public and motivation speaker, I'm a Government of India Empanelment Certified Posh Consultant, a Certified Poxo Trainer, um, uh, Associate State President of CIMSME, I'm a member of uh, Wiki, I'm also the Management Committee member of uh, Indian Society for Training and Development today. So, this is my, this is my profile of what I am today and this journey has never been bed of roses at all. Yes, we do have, and how we take it up is what is important. And we all can join hands together and keep moving, and that is the only thing I want, uh, you know, to say, because, uh, you know, I run my social organi organization, also called the Headway Foundation, which works for the empowerment of persons with disabilities. All types of disabilities, yeah, uh, again, there is no you know, distinction between disabilities. We, we are focused on all the types of disabilities. And one thing that the push that I had when I started this was breaking the stereotype. Rest comes next. We wanted to break this myth. We want to break the stereotype. Yeah? Because people see at the, the, you know, the appearance rather than they see what are you. The label is what this ability is. What is the label that you carry and that is how you, they perceive. So we want to break that myth first of all. So let's break the stereotype today, this moment and say, this is kind of a celebration. Yeah, I couldn't see, I couldn't see anything of, uh, you know, creating an awareness. Do you all? No, Oxymed has taken so much pains today. And it's, it's more of a celebration. So from today, we will take one step higher. Let us not talk about awareness. Let us start celebrating. Let's start celebrating autism. Let's start celebrating disability. Let's start celebrating inclusion. Thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, for sharing your encouraging journey with us. Uh, I would, I now take the pleasure of introducing our guest of honor, Dr. Mohammed, who's a neurologist at Oximed Hospital, HOD at Department of Neurosurgery at King Abdul Aziz Hospital in Mecca. I request you to share a few words with us. It's my pleasure to appear in front of you to give a small talk about the uh, 
medical field concerning autism. Everybody came and talked their own experience with their own family members or relatives or in the society. And, uh, and uh, they confirmed their responsibilities done well. Anyhow, I am going to give a medical aspect. The word autis autism means a developmental disability significantly affecting the verbal and non-verbal communication and social interactions and learning abilities. These are all affected actually if you analyze thoroughly. <clears throat> so, social interaction and communication restricted or repetitive pattern of thought and behavior. It is a spectrum disorder impacts the nervous system and affect the overall cognitive, emotional, social and physical health and learning skills. Okay. Um, initially, it was categorized into three. First, autistic disorder, sometimes called the classic autism. The second type is the very mild one. The symptoms are very mild in this Asperger syndrome. The third one is pervasive developmental disorder. Anyhow, in 2013, the American Association of Psychiatrists, they devised a classification, the DSM, that means Diagnostic and Statistical Manual Mental Disorder, and it is called DSM-5. DSM-5, five categories they have created. First category is with or without accompanying intellectual impairment. The second one, with or without accompanying language impairment. The third one, I am mostly uh, um, concerned with, and uh, not the third one. The third one is associated with known medical and genetical or environmental disorders. The fourth one is associated with other neurological developmental and mental or behavioral disorder. The final category is with catatonia. Catatonia is an abnormal movement disorder associated with autism, okay? Now, as a neurologist or neurosurgeon, I have seen a number of cases of developmental disorders. I, I have seen about, uh, in my uh, almost about uh, 30 years of neurosurgery practice, I have seen about uh, more than 700 babies, newborn babies. They were all with uh, developmental brain abnormalities. <coughs> and uh, they required surgical intervention or medical management. The final outcome was somehow with uh, some type of disabilities. It may be a neurological dis disability, motor function disability, speech problem, or behavioral problem. Ultimately, we used to refer to psychiatrist. He used to categorize it accordingly, they used to manage. <coughs> so, as a neurosurgeon here, the associated problems such as fits, behavioral problem, and motor function abnormalities, intracranial pressure. These problems can be treated wherever I am present. And if we, uh, Dr. Ayas Akbar used to display here, we give the treatment, ultimately it is God who cures. It is a um, well explained one. And uh, I am very much impressed to see the parents, establishments, institutions, which are confidentially treating such people. The reward is from God because God says, do you think I will not test you? I give you wealth, boys and girls and status and your uh, position in the society. Do you think it is all blessings from me? This is a test for you, God says in his revelations. This is a test for you. Your final abode is according to your performance in these things. And 
i am seeing many people here who have succeeded this trust given by god thank you very much thank you so much sir for sharing your experience with us uh, i am extremely delighted to introduce our chief guest ms vandana agarwal she is the director of vva and vvt group of companies who own two of the five star hotels namely radisson blue Chen uh, chennai city center and the park plaza at chennai omr she is also the managing partner of asta properties chennai uh, ms agarwal is also the chairperson of punjab's women's association we extend our warmest welcome to you ma'am i invite you uh, on this share to share your uh, heartfelt journey with us good evening all so when i was invited uh, i i didn't know much about autism frankly so and i will i also asked the question why me so i'm i'm just a business woman i know nothing about this but this being i'm happy that i was invited here thank you uh, saira and uh, doc, uh, dr ajaz ajaz akbar ayaz akbar sorry ayaz akbar for inviting me because this has made me go through uh, a lot of uh, as you said google google is one person who gives you a lot of knowledge so i was going through to just know what is autism so so i should say uh, this big, this made me aware of autism <laughs> like the awareness you are trying to teach people so i also became aware by you calling me over here so thank you for that so i i i am not going to go through whatever i have made notes uh, to say over here because already so much has been told about autism yes about education i do agree ki every education is not a privilege everybody has a right to education so we need to educate everybody and then uh, uh, there are some government dignitaries also over here which i would say okay we need to open doors to special uh, children like this because uh, i think even i was dyslexic which i didn't know for a long time that i was dyslexic i was out in the class enjoying myself not in the class i was most of the time and the same thing was with my daughter and later on when i when i did say ki she is not doing anything in school what is happening they said no your child is this and we would not tell the parents because the parents don't accept so uh, i think parents should start accepting first noticing the child has some learning disability notice that and uh, it's i mean at for the first time i think you you'll be a little confused you don't know how to go about it so it's very important to take some medical intervention which is uh, which helps you which guides you but later on it's your own because you're watching the child 24/7 so you need to guide your child uh, the way she can so what i did was i changed her from a normal uh, matriculation school into an international school where writing was not required she was not good with her motor skills so i changed her that and she did excellent she went she went to london to study where the education system is totally different it's not from the textbooks so she did wonderful for us and she has joined a business now so uh, that is all i will have to say because the rest rest of it most of the wonder moms here have told everything so i would not go on to my google knowledge to tell you what to do and how to do so in fact it was a learning for me and but one thing i would like to say is uh, awareness is not just about uh, disability i think you need to donate to the cause so identify i think we need to do by donation i mean identify organization network groups that support autism and donate thus empowering the caregivers and with resources they so desperately need to run those institute have fundraisers seminars and conferences uh, spreading awareness about ability and not disability we need to lend support and show support real life stories like parents and children with autism can inspire and guide all of us lastly i would like to say that every autism kid is unique in his or own way they should be focused on their ability 
The attitude of the society has to change by understanding, acknowledging, and appreciating people with autism and accepting them. Autism is seeing the world from a different angle. They do miss what others catch and catch what others miss. So I would just finish with this. Thank you so much. Now I'd like to call upon Saira Parveen, um, the director of Oximed, of Oximed Hospital and the founder of Oximed Foundation. Um, I would like to call her upon the stage to share a few words with us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I welcome everybody. I think it's been a long meeting. Everybody has been here right from uh, 2.45 and uh, we are already running at 5.15. Uh, just to uh, cut it short, we wanted to put everything in a nutshell. So we've decided that we will have a, a newsletter, an Oximed newsletter, which will keep us connected always, inshallah. So all the activities and whatever work we are planning and what are the suggestions from everybody, we will collect and we will circulate so that we'll always keep in touch. So this is our first newsletter here and uh, we have invited stories and we have got a lot of response, right from um, Sh uh, Sholapur, Mumbai, Ahmedabad, Chennai, uh, Coimbatore. A lot of people have responded to our uh, call and uh, they have all shared their stories for which we will be publishing. We'll be sending a virtual newsletter. We are already also on the process of launching the, the Oximed app, which will be more easy for us to uh, you know, connect with each other. So I think uh, with that, uh, it's good enough. And uh, thank you all for, uh, for being here. And uh, we've really enjoyed it today, especially the decorations. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I would just like to add one thing. I think we should have an Insta page or something where all these moms can participate. And, uh, they, and people, parents who have a doubt, they can just write that these are the doubts. How do I deal with it? So it can be answered. So uh, I think there should be an Insta page where all of us can, can approach and say, Ki, this is the problem today I face with my child. So when we say that, uh, I think it works better because then the parent doesn't have to come and speak. It, it can be on the Insta. To all of you, we are launching from Anjuman a site, uh, a website where the whole thing is given what we can do what, and we also encourage parents with various disabilities of like uh, dyslexia, ADHD, whatever it is, autism. And uh, we will answer their queries. And I said, we are starting off uh, with a clinical side of it from the fourth of, I mean, uh, for, from the month of June onwards, from four to 7 p.m. Yes. Anybody can contact us at whatever time. This is launched, uh, this website will be launched on the 9th of April uh, from Anjuman, it will be launched. We, I'll share this, this thing with uh, Sarah. She's also going to be part of it. So we will share the Hello. website with all of you all also. Thank you very much. Anytime we are there for help. And Anjuman as a charitable organization, we are open, our arms are open to welcome you all. And any, any child for that matter of fact, with any disability or things like that. Thank you very much. And by the way, I have taken up this act. This, there is an act of 2016, an act which came out for disability. That is physical disability and the learning disability also has been added. And uh, I had uh, attended uh, a webinar when I was, I was stuck in the US for one year. I've just come back in the month of Jan. So there we, the Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose University in West Bengal conducted this and they have got all the rights for, I mean, working with the central government, they have got the funds. It's very unfortunate in Tamil Nadu government. I worked with the disability commissioner here, but then he says, we have not got orders from the state government. The center has not this thing. Well, now, sir has told me that he will help me out in this thing because I want to form a sort of an association to be, yeah, to link all these people, all the pet children with autism or anything. I mean, it is really, children with autism are never brought out. Like, I, I'm really proud of these mothers. My hat's off to you all. You know, 
because the children has to be brought out. This is what I say even in our, uh, this saying, uh, uh, in Anjuman while admission, I said both father and mother should be here. If not, I'm sorry. If you can give your time for this child, then I am there with you. Uh, yeah. In connection with what uh, Madam said, yesterday social media is, is one platform where we all can connect with each other and do wonders. Uh, same way our organization, the Headway Foundation, uh, we support all talents. Yeah, right, We support right from education, employment, entrepreneurship, sports, uh, talented people, artistic talented people, in, in, in fact people like Ms. Priya, uh, and uh, supporting livelihood. We do a lot of initiatives, so we all can stay connected, maybe with people like Madam Sir and Madam, we all can stay connected uh, by uh, the social media and we can all help each other, know each other and, and try to influence more people positively. Yeah. Yes, I think yeah. we all can join That's hands that way. I think now we have got to have, give the mic to Maria because it's all about her, all uh, about the day with Maria. <laughs> uh, actually, I don't want to because the day is almost coming to an end and you'll have seen what a wonderful evening it was. And as Raghavi was saying, it is not about awareness or creation of awareness about autism or any other disability. It is celebrating life. This is what I wanted to say. And I really have to thank Dr. Aya Zagbar and especially uh, Madam Aya Zagbar for this wonderful day and the extension of the hand. And as they rightly said, we are here to listen to the hearts. We have listened to you all. And we don't want to just finish the day by you know, coming here and going back. I want to emphasize, let's get together. Form something so that we will have a sustainable program going on. Not just a day of awareness, not just a day of celebration, but please walk along with us. And at Oximet, I think ma'am has great plans, and uh, Dr. Raya Zagbar also, and uh, there's a wonderful team. And uh, today, what they have put up is extensively beautiful, wonderful, terrific, right? So give them a big applause. Just she asked me, uh, what shall we do for Autism Day? And I just told them, let's hear to the stories. And everyone was saying, Mada Pida Guru Devam Kadaya Dipo, Mada Pida Google Devam. So <laughs> everyone, all the parents knows everything. So why should we keep on talking about it? Let us plan together because we need your support. So. Uh, let this day be where not only the newsletter, ma'am, uh, we will form a team. And as Madam rightly pointed out, questions can be answered. We are all here for you all. So please, we need you all. Thank you so much. And I must say a special thanks on behalf of Priya and my husband that uh, Raghavi rightly pointed out inclusion has happened. And I'm grateful to Madam because she is the first person who said, come and display Priya's things, and she is doing it. And she invited us for a, a health camp, and there we had a wonderful awareness. It is not about selling the goods. It's about saying, we are here in your midst. Look at us, look upon us, we need your support. So Priya, uh, thank you, and my husband, who has been a pillar to all of us. And uh, as Sir was saying, the fathers are here, sir. My husband is here, Mr. Anand is here, and uh, there are so many wonderful, and Mr. Sankar Nar Narayanan sir is here. I invited a few fathers because I know the wonderful, wonderful support they are giving, because without them, the mothers, we cannot do anything. My husband supported me so much in uh, studying, in taking care of Priya, and today also we have him to help us in our way of life. Thank you so much. So, Please leave your name and we will form a team. Yeah, thank you. Definitely. I think we've got one small uh, sachets to be given to the super moms and super daughters, super dads over here. I think uh, it doesn't... Quickly, we will finish it. I would like to invite uh, Mr. Sankar Narayanan, who is a super dad and who had come all the way f yeah, accepting your invitation as a professional, as a government uh, uh, you know, representative. Next, I would like to call upon Divya and Anandi.
Hello, Sona. Hello. 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 You're happy? Happy. Yeah, yeah. Happy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is for you. Okay. Yes, Mama. <laughs> How can we forget Dr. Aya Zakbar and Madam who is behind the great show? So I invite Priya to come and give them a small token of love and appreciation for bringing all of us together. And also one for ma'am. For ma'am. Priya, ma'am, could it? <laughs> Thank you so much, ma'am. Sir. Now I would like to invite Nusrat Jahan to present the vote of thanks. Assalamu alaikum and good evening. Oximate Hospital is a non-profit organization. This hospital ka vision is that people in this hospital will be able to do this. That people who are living in the work and health of their lives can be able to do their lives. ہمارا عظم ہے کہ ہم صحت اور صحت کی بہتری کے لئے پر عظم رہیں صحت کی دیکھ بھال جس حد تک کے لئے آسانی ہو ہو سکتی ہے وہ کریں جیسے کہ نون انویسیو ٹریٹمنٹ یہاں پر کیا جاتا ہے اور حساس ماحول پیدا کیا جاتا ہے جو لوگوں کو سیلف ڈیپنڈنٹ بناتا ہے اور خصوصی مالی امداد یہاں سے کی جاتی ہے اس فانڈیشن کے آغاز کے سالوں کے دوران انگرد سرگرمیاں کی جا چکی ہیں ہمارا فانڈیشن کا مقصد ہے لوگوں کو لوگوں میں اویرنس پیدا کرنا جس کے لئے ہم ہیلتھ کیمپس کرتے ہیں بلڈ ڈونیشن کیمپس اور اسی طرح سے بہت سے ایکٹیوٹیز کیے جاتے ہیں 2021 جنوری میں ہمارا پہلا پروگرام ہوا تھا کوئیڈ کی اویرنس کا پروگرام ہوا تھا عالمی کینسر ڈے پر یہ پروگرام فورت فیبروری کو بھی ہوا تھا جس میں تعلیم دی گئی تھی کہ سیلف ایگزامنیشن بریسٹ کس طرح کیا جاتا ہے فری کیمپ سے لائے جاتے ہیں یہ چنئی کے کیل پاک میں چلایا گیا وانیم بڑی اور وشارم میں بھی فری کیمپ سے لائے گئے جس میں سکس منٹ واک ٹیسٹ کیا گیا ڈیبیٹیز اور بلیٹ پریشر وغیرہ کو مفت جانچ کر آئی گئی اس ہیلتھ کیمپ میں بہت سے لوگ شامل ہوئے اور اس اوکسیمیٹ فانڈیشن کا مقصد ہی یہی ہے کہ وہ اپنے خدمات کو ہر ممکن حد تک بڑھائے ہیلتھ کے بارے میں آج کر لوگوں کو اویرنس نہیں ہوتی ہے اس طرح خاص کر جب خواتین کو پوچھا گیا کہ آپ نے کبھی اپنا ماسٹر ہیلتھ سے کرایا ہے تو انہوں کا ان کا جواب تھا اس کے بارے میں ہم نہیں جانتے تو ہم لوگوں کی صحت مند اس طرح ہم لوگوں میں صحت مند کھانے کے پکانے کا ایک کمپیٹیشن انخاط کیا گیا جس میں خاص کر خواتین نے پارٹسپیٹ کیا اتنا حیرت انگیز کھانا تیار کر کے لائی تھی کہ تمام عمر کے مختلف لوگوں اور صحت کے مطابق ترتیب کے طرح انہوں نے اس کو بنایا تھا اسے اگر آپ دیکھنا چاہیں تو ترو وارٹس اپ جا کر دے سکتے ہیں تو آج کا یہ ہمارا جو ایونٹ ہے اس ایونٹ کا ہم حصہ نہیں ہے مگر اس ورلڈ میں جو ایسے والدین ہیں جو جو یہ جو والدین ایسے ہیں اس ورلڈ کے ورلڈ کے کہ جو ہمیں سنانا چاہتے ہیں اور یہ جو آج ہم نے ان والدین کی آواز ہم جو ہم نے جو سنی ہے یہ اوکسیمیٹ کی گویا کے یہ آواز ان کے دل تک گئی ہو سیکڑوں ایسے لوگ ہیں جو چاہتے ہیں کہ ہم ان کی بات سنیں نہ کہ صرف سنیں بلکہ ان کے ساتھ ہمدردی کا سلوک کریں اور ان کے ساتھ ہاتھ سے ہاتھ ملا کر ان کا ساتھ دیں ये सारे प्रोग्राम सिर्फ इस वजह से मुमकिन हो सके हैं कि हमारे पास ऐसे हौसला अफला अफाज कोऑपरेटिव टीम पुर अज़म डॉक्टर्स और ऐसे नर्सेस और अमली टीम टीम है जिसकी वजह से आज तक हम ये सक्सेस कर पाए हैं आज के शाम हमारे साथ रहने के लिए ऑक्सीमेट हॉस्पिटल की तरफ से मैं तह दिल से आप सबका शुक्रिया अदा करती हूँ शुक्रिया